the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone uh, you know I want to answer some people regarding uh, uh, that we say things in Arabic or we show things in Arabic not in English and uh, because that they are saying you know uh, we think you are making a lie and now the story is about or the, uh, the complaint is about uh, uh, breastfeeding actually it's not me who did talk about breastfeeding it's someone someone else uh, so somebody made an answer saying those uh, people who say those things they are lying to you and this they, they will show you or they give you a hadith uh, in Arabic and even the numbers if you go and check the numbers you will see it's not there uh, first before I talk about that uh, regarding the breastfeeding hadith it's all over the internet go to Wakabidia this is Wakabidia and you will see that this is the head of the department of hadith in the Azhar University the highest of Islamic university in the world and they are Sunni by the way this university started by Shia you know when when Egypt used to be controlled by Shia and it's became now a Sunnah school very authentic Sunnah school and you can ask anybody it will say to you this is number one school in the world not even the the, the University of Mecca is better than this one so <clears throat> uh, uh, if Wakabidia is saying that this guy he said has an official fatwa saying that a woman work at you know at, at, uh, uh, at work can take off the veil or reveal her hair in front of someone who he uh, uh, you know she breastfeed now he's saying she can do breastfeeding for that man an adult man and by that she can take her uh, veil and she can stay with him because it's forbidden for a woman to be with the work with a man at work alone it's forbidding it's not allowed in Islam so the solution is she can give him breastfeeding now this guy you know the Muslims get so upset from him by the way and this is a this is very uh, like new news this is uh, May 28 okay uh, this fatwa issued uh, uh, you know a few days before and after that the Muslims go so crazy and even the, the Egyptian parliament did talk about this story and they made a discussion about it you can go to Al Arabiya TV and you see and not only that you can go inside Wakabidia you know you can go and you will see they are sh giving you uh, sources for the news like you know from where they are getting the news this is the BBC this is the BBC you will see that you know uh, breastfeeding fatwa breastfeeding for what Dr. Ezzet Atiyah of Egypt al Azhar University said it's offered a way around etc you know his fatwa stated act would make men's uh, 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 you know symbolically, symbolically uh, uh, related to women so when the woman she give her breast to that man she will be making him as a relative so he will not think about her in a sexual way and imagine you go inside a, 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 an office of somebody uh, you know and you will find somebody a man his head in between the the breast of a woman and he is sucking her breast hey bro hey bro what are you doing well I'm doing the Sunnah brother the Prophet told us to suck a strange woman breast ten time then until we are satisfied then that woman she is going to be forbidden for me to have a sexual desire of her when she is with me but it's still the fatwa saying still he can marry her and I can show you that so anyway uh, 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 you know uh, the Muslims uh, 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 get so upset from this fatwa uh, you know but you know if you think about it why they get upset if you want to get upset from this guy you know it's not his fault go after your prophet the one you know uh, 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 who made it you will see in here Dr. Atiyah retracted is saying he uh, you know it had been the result of a, a bad interpretation okay because uh, uh, during the time of Muhammad the Prophet Muhammad well you know people accusing him for what if you're a prophet he is the one who did that and now they are saying well you know what this is doesn't uh, you know it doesn't go with logic a human nature so they are refusing the fatwa, refusing their prophet words for what? Because it's not fit with, uh, 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 you know, the human nature. So Muhammad uh, uh, teach doesn't fit with the human nature. Otherwise, you have to accept it. And now maybe somebody will say, okay, where Muhammad he said that? Can you show us a proof? Yeah, I can show you proof. What a big deal. Here we go. This is 
the website we talk about always hmm? and again I want Muslims to look carefully this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia not my website please be careful when you look you will see what I'm talking about okay uh, let us go to uh, English whatever language you speak they have Turkish they have Indonesian they have you know go there you know Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Ministry of Islamic Affairs and Endorsement and Dawa and Guidance. This is a website made for you to convert you to Islam. So the Muslims cannot refuse that website. I'm showing you the, 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 exactly as it is from there. So you cannot run away from this. So like using people that we are giving you reference in Arabic, it's very, very, you know, stupid thing to say. Uh, you know, because everything in Islam is in Arabic. You cannot, you cannot even say Shahada. You cannot convert to Islam without saying it in Arabic. If you say it in English, Allah will not accept. Because Allah only understands Arabic, as I think. Otherwise, give me one excuse. Secondly, you have to pray in Arabic. Number three, there is no one translation accurate approved by Muslims for the Quran in English. Show me one approved one. I challenge any Muslim to give me one approved by Islamic, like by Al-Azhar University. They do not approve it because Quran cannot be translated according to them. Why they cannot? Because they don't want to show you how bad it is. They want to keep it this way. So this is this is Sahih Muslim. This is the book. This is the Sahih Muslim. As we see, this is the official government website of, Sa of Saudi Arabia, not my website. Hadith number two six three six. Sahih Muslim. The book name is breastfeeding. This is the big no the book name even. The chapter name Rida'atul Kabir. Feeding an adult, breastfeeding for an adult. This is even the chapter name. A woman, she came to the Prophet, she said to him, there is a guy, his name is Salim, he come inside my house and he have a karaha in his face. He looked to me in a sexual way. He have a desire, I can see it in his eyes. So he said to her, to her well, give him your breast, feed him from your breast. She said, what are you talking about? He is an adult man. Look. How I'm going to, give, to, to, to do breastfeeding for him and he is an adult man. The Prophet, he said, he smiled. And he said, yeah, I know he's an old man. And even he was with war, in war with me. He's a fighter. Just do it. And even he was a fighter with me with Badr. Which means he's a very old, not only old. This is from the beginning of, of Muhammad's life. Uh, uh, as, as, a, as, a, uh, as a Muslim prophet, he claimed to be a Muslim prophet. So this guy, he was with him from the beginning. So he is, you know, when you go to war, you're not a kid. He was in the war. And she is saying to him, he's an adult. He said, yeah, I know, and even he was with us in the war. So what? So he forced her to do that. And I can show different hadith. I have many. I can give you as many as you want. You know, there, there, there's unlimited sources of hadith. I can show you. This is Sahih Muslim too. The Sahih, Sahih Muslim, you know, which means very authentic hadith. 2637. Sahih Muslim, the book of al rida Breastfeeding. Chapter name, Breastfeeding for an Adult. He's saying the following. That the same story, um, a woman, she came to the Prophet asking him that this guy, he entered my house and he is an adult and he look at me in a sexual way. He said, give him her, your breast. He said, how am I going to do it? She said, I'm, I'm going to do it when he's an ad adult. He said, so what? Just do it. Okay, this is the hadith again. And this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. So if you want to lie, you are the liar. We don't lie. This is why I'm making this video to show people that's what I'm saying in here is absolutely true. Another hadith, you know, I, I'm willing to give you as many as you want. As many as you want. Sahih Muslim from the same book. I don't want to make you to go, be confused to show you a lot of hadith from different books. Let us stay with the same book. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2639. You see it in the front of your eyes. Which, which website is that website? This is hadithalislam.com. You see it? This is not my website. Very, very authentic Islamic website. The Ministry of Islam and Guidance. The same story is there. I can give you another hadith. How many you want? I will give you more. Here we go. The same hadith. Which book? In the same book, Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2640. So this hadith is exist all over. It's even exist in the CNN. This is a CNN. It's everywhere. BBC, CNN, wherever you go. 
So how you can run away from it? You cannot. Take it or leave it, which means take Islam or leave Islam. And I advise you to do the second. You know, we Arab, we are leaving Islam big time because we speak Arabic, we found out that Islam cannot be from God. Because as you see, how a prophet of God will ask a woman to take to give her breast to a stranger and he's smiling, like as if he's doing nothing. Like, you know what, what a big deal, just give him her, your breast. You know, he's making fun of people. He cannot be a prophet. Thank you very much. Use your brain if you have one.